All right, hi guys. This is just a really cool um, discovery I've made. I want to share it with you. So we're unpacking, and there's stuff that I found that's like so excessively personal. Um, amongst it, I have found the original receipt from when his my grandmother bought her Singer sewing machine in 1950. This is the letter from the Singer Sewing Machine Company from May 19th, 1952. My grandma, thank you for being our customer. Signed off in ink. From thank you for doing business with us. We look forward to doing business with you in the future. So keeping in mind, back in 1950, there were no instant transactions with money when you did this from afar. The Singer Company was in Ontario, and my grandmother lived in the West. It's really cool to see how this transpired. I've got the original contract. Let's have a look. So this is the official, official conditional sales contract between my grandmother and the Singer Company. The full price of the sewing machine is $137, which took 18 months to pay off. The tenth of every month, $767 a month. So, you know, there's the sales contract, there's the buyer's signature, there's the witnesses, all the good stuff. Now look on the back of this. It's like you got your official stamp number and everything. Paid in full stamp, and all for like the name of the person, the name of their landlord, um, husband's father or mother, other relatives, other relatives, local references. So when things weren't all electronic, you know, you did your homework, you had to really pay attention to this. So here it is, a uh, chance to see what this looks like on the inside. It um, has a little key. Look at that little key. Lovely JT has opened this up for me without doing any damage to the lid or the lock. So when he lifted the lid off, it was the first time I'd ever seen this sewing machine. Here we go. Beautiful piece of machinery. So we've got the serial number. It matches up. $137 in 1950. A lot of money. Beautiful, beautiful machine. A foot pedal. Oh, look at that foot pedal. And this thing probably works like a charm still. Beautiful artwork along the deckling here. It still has a needle in it. Look at that silver. That's a solid silver panel. That is beautiful. Oh man. It has a light. See that right there? It's the light. Oh, this gold on black is just gorgeous. Inlaid box. Oh man, look at that belt. This was a well taken care of sewing machine. Oh, there's a little case down here. What do we have here? You also have this little lever here. If you swing it open, it unlatches your machine and you can Got these wonderful, it's so heavy. Holy smokes. Underneath can be worked on. Man, this thing is so heavy. But let's see what's in this little slot beside that I just opened. This is motor lubricant. Oh my. Oh. Uh, probably not a good thing to have in there. Your non-flowing compound retaining its consistency and possessing high lubricating quality sold by all Singer shops. Unfortunately, the box is trashed and this is dripping stuff all over the floor. I'm going to say that is a working on it key. Bag of notions and stuff. 
All right, and there is this other box that fit in there absolutely perfectly, and there's a couple bobbins at the bottom. Well, let's open this up and see. This is a beautiful box made in Great Britain. It's... Oh, would you look at that? Oh my goodness. There's so many parts in here. Okay, these parts are so cool. Oh man, I wish I could tell you what they did, but I don't know. I'm not a seamstress. I don't run sewing machines. Oh man. Anybody? Anybody know what these are? Please leave a comment down below because this is so amazing. Got some sewing machine needles, size 16. Oh, and there's just a bunch of goodies in there that look all sharp. If you know what any of these are, please leave a comment down in the section below. Of obviously needles, right? Um, oh man, this is such a cool find. I haven't been able to open this because I didn't want to break the lock on it. So I brought a plug over because I want to plug this in and see if the light works still. If I scream, I'm sorry. Not sorry. I didn't even turn on the light. I don't even know. <laughs> it's a switch. Ta da! The light works. <laughs> I have a working condition. Beautiful. 1950s. Singer sewing machine. This thing is a beaut. That's their trademark stamp. Alright guys, there she is. Light on. Shining, beautiful, black and gold. Singer sewing machine. Oh. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to sharing more of these special treasures with you. See you next time. Everything is somewhere. I have two buttons here, but I don't want to touch either of them in case they run the foot pedal thingy. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, it's shiny and pretty, though. Do, 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 do. It's got to be a light switch. There's always a light switch. <laughs> goes into there. It goes into there. Which goes into there. Oh. oh, the motor moved. Okay, don't push that one. Oh, the motor moved. <laughs> All right. Well, the motor moved. It's plugged in. I need to figure out how to turn on the light. It's like...